Info Radio Live with Schwenker. It is Info Radio, Info Live, every weekday, 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, joining us on the phone right now, Sierra from Versa Merch. Sierra, thank you so much for coming yeah. on. Hello. How Hi. are Hello. you? I'm good. How's everybody else? I think we're doing okay. Yeah, we're happy you're here. Absolutely. You guys sound happy. You know, we get that a lot. I can't yeah. believe, I feel like, I feel bad that you guys are calling up other, like, maybe radio stations that people just sound like, hey, thanks for coming on the phone. <laughs> no way. Really. I actually haven't talked to many radio stations, but I listen to the radio all the time. And, you know, those people have, like, that radio voice. And you guys definitely nail it. Oh. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait. In, a good, in a good way, because I can talk like this if you really want me to. <laughs> hey, yeah. everybody, it's Sierra from Versa Merge. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah nice. we've all, we, all, we all get, that's like training 101 for radio to make fun Don't of those people. <laughs> I know, it's okay, I love being made fun of. No, 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 I'm not making fun of you, I'm making fun of those people, not you, I promise. Oh, oh hi, well done. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't see your face, so you have to have a lot of personality in your voice. Oh, no, that's true. Yeah. When we, we, I have a lot of personality in my voice. I don't know. It's, <laughs> thank you for the compliment. I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit flustered and flushing now. Thank you very <laughs> much. Oh, his beard. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sierra, how are things going? You are busy. You have got a huge schedule on the way. You're going to be at South by Southwest in two days at the Pure Volume House, and uh, then you're going to yeah. do Bamboozle and Warp Tour. How's things going? It's really awesome. It, it's actually nice because right now is kind of chill time like this is the moment where we have to say all right really enjoy this time to yourself because it's going to be gone <laughs> after this date in the blink so, of an eye right yeah so we just finished the record in um in california and we're home right now like doing the last minute tweaking and then we start practicing and getting it all together next month and then we're off to Hoodwink and Bamboozle. And Which then is after that, awesome. I love so. the idea of the Hoodwink Festival for the Bamboozle. It's it's uh it's like all the cover songs and stuff like that. It sounds like such a, a like a fun, ridiculous experience that everyone should be a part of. Oh yeah, for sure. I actually never heard of it until last year when a band on tour with mentioned it. And I was like, I wanna do that. Are you kidding me? That's it's one thing to like cover a band song and do it in your set, but to do a whole set and really just go out of the box or even take a different artist that's totally not your style and make it your own thing, like that's so much fun. I'm stoked to do that. Cool. Do you ever get nervous that maybe the original artist is not going to appreciate your version of a certain song? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, like we're we're doing Britney Spears, so I, I doubt she's going to hear this. <laughs> but if she does, then that's awesome. Yeah. I like your confidence. I, I, I dig that. So, okay, everyone is kind of curious, and uh, we, were, we were having a debate in studio if we should actually ask. Everyone's kind of, everyone's really curious when the debut, right. when the debut <laughs> album is going to drop. Do you have, um, like, a date in mind? We are talking about dates right now. Nothing is set in stone, so I can't give you any of that information. I'm sorry. Do you want to, okay. make, uh, do you want to make up a date? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, June 11th. 3rd. Oh, 11th. 3rd. That's, that's, that's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's a magic day. But it, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be out um, before Warp Tour. That's the plan. Okay, nice. before Warp Tour. So that's like a definite. That's a definite end date for everybody. Yes. That's good, though, because the Warp Tour kicks off June 25th. It does? Yes, it does. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, do we have to amend the date now? That, oh, that really is two days before my birthday. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would actually be kind of awesome if that somehow worked out. I know, right? So how has it been recording? Like, you've had an EP out before. How was it doing, like, the entire process of actually putting together your full, like, debut album? Honestly, it was so much fun because none of us have ever done it. And we're used to just, like, doing two weeks of, like, a few songs and really, like, delving into each song and totally tweaking it out and, you know, having the time, you know, because it's only five songs, six songs. And I was like, okay, we have, like, 14 songs now, and we got to make them awesome and, you know, do it in time and go through everything. And it was just, like, such a different experience, and it was so much fun. It was awesome getting to be out in california for a full month and our producer dave bassett he ruled so it was just such a great time no wait are you still out in california right now we're home right now oh i thought maybe you hit you got the earthquake because there was an earthquake there this oh, morning yeah. like 4.4 i didn't know if you'd actually uh if you had felt it i guess not no, never mind i didn't no. okay. well, <laughs> I, mean, I felt it in spirit uh in in, in florida 
<laughs> Shelly, yeah. you had a question? Uh, yeah, I always like to know, um, is there a, a certain song that maybe means the most to you on the album? You know, a song that we should look out for, um, that you're excited for everyone to hear? Well, it's I, I would assume that like that like every song is like kind of, it's a weird creative process. They're kind of like your kids. You don't have a favorite, but there's something that like, you know, sticks out about this one but song. There's, yeah. that, there's the yeah. one child where you, you just want to shower them with gifts more than the rest <laughs> of the children. It really is like that. Like, it's hard to choose one because... I think I have a favorite, and then I hear this other one. I'm like, oh, but that one means so much to me in this way. But right now, my favorite song that I just really, like, put... I I don't write very vulnerable lyrics, if you didn't notice. So I don't... I'm not a very vulnerable person. I don't put myself out there and so blatantly. Mm -hmm. But there's this song, it's titled You'll Never Know, and... It's my favorite right now because it is really real to me, and I kind of just, like, put myself out on the chop block, and it, it's kind of different for me. So I, I really, really am in touch with that one. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Uh, well, I, I honestly, I cannot wait to just sing it on stage. Like, I can't wait. <laughs> See, that has to be a really weird experience. If you're, like, putting yourself out there, because as you said, you're not, you're not, you don't necessarily put yourself out there as a vulnerable person, but then you, you put more of an, more, more of those feelings that you don't normally express into a song, and, like, then you're, like, bearing your soul in front of giant crowds. It's got to be an incredibly exhilarating experience. It really is, because in real life, you won't get a peep out of me, you know. I'm just (laughs) completely covered in armor. And then it's just, I I write songs, and at first when I started writing, the first time I ever wrote was our first two EPs, and I wasn't writing things that, they were hard to understand. And I didn't see that because, of course, I'm writing it. And I'm like, I get it. You know, everybody else should get it. <laughs> and then, it. Like, like, working with people, they're like, yeah, this doesn't, you know, this might not make sense in other people's heads. So I think, and I really, like, I strive to be the best writer that I can because that's what I do and I love to do it. So instead of sticking to my style and saying, no, that's how I write and that's how it's got to be because that's me, I feel like to be a good writer, you have to explore and try new things. So I really kind of just like took off the armor a little bit and put myself out there way more than I ever have on this record. And it's really cool because I might not even tell my closest friends about some of these things, but all of our fans are going to listen to me sing it. That's awesome. So you've mentioned that you kind of have, I guess you can say, two personas, you know, who you are on stage and who you are off stage. Now, Beyonce has given her personas names. Do you have a a Sasha Fierce on stage? Sasha Fierce. What would your name be? Oh, my gosh. I totally should name my stage self. Um, yeah, let's 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 do that like right now. Yeah. Let's 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 brainstorm. Should we do that? Yeah, let's let <laughs> we should name your stage presence right now here on Faux Radio and Faux Live. So okay, I'm glad. I wanted I wanted to find this. Okay, well Sierra. Okay, uh, Sierra. That's uh, that's that's. Uh, I don't even know what type of name that is. I was going somewhere that I did, had no idea. It's a pretty name. It is. It's a very. It's a flowy name, Sierra. Oh, yeah. which actually happens to be my sister in law's name. Oh. Oh, really? Yes, actually. Uh, so let's, we got to come up with like a, uh, so like, hmm. not like Sasha Fierce. Maybe like, I'm, yes. Or Sandra, I don't know. Sandra the Battle Cat. It's definitely <laughs> Battle Cat. Battle Cats, like battle, B A T T L E K A T, like. I'm not, I'm, I feel like instead of a cat, cats, okay. it has to be like a lion cat. Oh. Uh, so, so or like a tigress. How about the lioness? Uh, why do I the see He Man in my mind? By the way, <laughs> I saw Battle Cat, and there's a giant cat in He Man. Am I dating myself? Some whiskers, Sorry maybe. about that. I, I'm what totally seeing He Man. Oh my God! No, Sierra, don't do this to me. <laughs> don't make me feel that old. Okay, Just I remember. remember I, I was born in 1990. <laughs> oh my God! Let me tell you something sad about you being born in 1990. I, no, I wasn't in high school. I was definitely in junior high in 1990. So you you are totally like three. Three generations behind me in terms of cartoons. Yeah. Oh, God. All right, so I can't make a He-Man reference. There's no Voltron references, obviously. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is borderline at best. So, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm definitely into that. <laughs> okay, good. So why don't we define, like, what your, what would your stage name be? I'm, like, totally curious as to. What do you feel it would be? Would you want it to be, like, a, uh, I don't know, a wild animal? A battle snake? <laughs> a battle snake. It, it, <laughs> 
It's actually hard because on stage, it's like this animalistic yet kind of sloppy but very confident Sierra. Oh. So it's like this mixture because it's like just such a rush. I don't even know what's going on when I'm up there. I have no idea. Uh, How about chaotic? Cha- how about, I kind of like chaotic. See, this would be impossible to know, decide I right know. now. <laughs> I'm t- going to think about this and like have to come back to you guys. Yeah, and- get back to us. <laughs> well, that's fine. Here's the thing. I'm actually going to be at South by Southwest on Thursday. So maybe you're going to be at the oh, Pure yeah. House. So maybe we'll be able to figure out. You're, gonna, you're doing actually doing an acoustic set down there. That we are. So yeah, maybe after the acoustic set, we'll, well, I will be able to see like in person, like the the uh, sloppy, chaotic Sierra uh, <laughs> battle. on stage, battle, <laughs> battle scarred, sloppy, chaotic, chaotic Sierra. Yeah, ferociously <laughs> animalistic. <laughs> so we'll, I'll be able to see it in person. So I'll be, better be able to hone uh, what might be uh, going on on stage. And then actually, yeah. we're about. I don't know. You could walk. To our studios from the bamboozle, uh, you know the Meadowlands thing. So maybe we, you'll oh, be able right. to stop. Maybe we'll bump into each other at Bamboozle too, or when you're doing hoodwink. So and maybe this way we'll be, we'll be able to actually nail down your <laughs> on stage persona just a little bit more. I'm dead serious with this. I want to find it and I want to I want to put it out there in the world so they know. Well, how about do do you take like do you take like fan submissions? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so why don't you know? Uh, well, I'll don't blog you, it. Yeah, blog it, and then go ahead and give your Twitter so people can hit up your uh, your own Twitter submissions for your fans. All right, I will do so. This is going to be a great project. I'm yeah. I'm excited. So what? It's it's at Sierra V E. At Sierra V E, yes. All right, so that's Sierra with two R's. Yes. All right, so if you guys have an idea of what Sierra's onstage personality name should be, hit it up. Also, hit it up, hit us up at Faux Radio or Faux Tweets. Hey, Sierra, thanks so much for giving us a couple minutes of your time. Uh, you guys oh, yeah, are going to no be problem. crazy busy for the next couple months, so uh, we really appreciate uh, you coming on the radio for a little bit and uh, also uh, you know, talking about what's going to be going down. And if you ever do nail down a date for the new album, the debut album, I'd love for you to come on my show and tell the world here first. <laughs> I will. I will let you know. Uh, first. Oh, well, you can first. just let me know eventually. It's okay. <laughs> we'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll release it here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sierra, thank you so much for giving thank us a couple you. minutes of your time. Best of luck yeah, on that new you. on that album coming out soon, and best of luck on all the touring and everything that's actually going on with you guys. Thank you so much, Sierra. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Friends or Enemies Radio rocks. Rocks. rocks.